Hello everybody, welcome to my video on supply and demand. In this video, I'm gonna calculate, uh, given these curves, the supply curve and demand curve, I'm gonna calculate the equilibrium quantity and price, as well as our consumer, producer, and total surplus. Uh, so here's our demand curve. Quantity demanded is equal to 20, 200 minus P. Quantity supplied is one half P minus 10. And that's all we get. Now let's do a quick recap of whatever you've already learned in maybe your intro class. Uh, well, you will, you'll often see a picture that looks like this. There's your demand curve. There's your supply curve. The equilibrium quantity is the quantity where they equal each other. The equilibrium price is the price where they equal each other. So let's solve for those. Uh, to do that, all we really have to do is set QD equal to QS. And that's where the quantity on the demand curve equals the quantity on the supply curve is right there. So mathematically, I'm just going to set QD equals QS 200 minus P equals one half P minus 10. So 210 equals three halves P. That means that P is equal to 140. So let me put an actual number up here. Right. Boom, got it. Uh, then we can substitute that into either curve and we'll get the quantity. Uh, I could say QD equals 200 minus 140 equals 60. Or I could say QS equals one half of 140 minus 10, which is also 60. It doesn't matter which curve I plug it into as long as I do it right going to be 60 either way. So let me add that in. Q star is equal to 60. All right, we got our equilibrium. That wasn't too bad. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about the concept of consumer and producer surplus. Uh, you probably remember this. If not, I'll do a brief recap. All right, with consumer surplus, it's important to remember that every point along this demand curve represents someone's willingness to pay for the good. We're willing to pay up to that price, but not a penny more. And if we're willing to pay more than what we actually have to pay, that gives us some sort of added benefit. Um, I'm going to fill in these intercepts, by the way. 200... Uh, so if I want to calculate the consumer and producer surplus, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for consumer surplus at how much area is in here. Because every one of these consumers is spending a price, is purchasing the good at a price of 140, even though their willingness to pay was higher. And that is our little measure of consumer well-being. So our consumer surplus is the area of that triangle. The triangle starts at 200, goes down to 140, and it goes from 0 to 60. And the area of this triangle is a measure of excess willingness to pay in the market. So the area of that triangle, let's see, triangle formula, 1 half times base, times height equals one half times sixty times sixty and that is going to equal eighteen hundred. Cool. Next let's do producer surplus. Producer surplus is the supply side equivalent. Uh, our supply curve is equal to our marginal cost curve in the short run 
uh, if I can supply the good to you for this price, but I sell it to you for that price, that's extra money in my pocket as a seller. And so every point along the supply curve gives us willingness to sell. And every dollar we sell it at, at a price of 140 above our willingness to sell is extra money for us. I will say it's not the same as profit. It ignores fixed costs, uh, but on a unit to unit basis, it measures how much extra money we're getting over costs. So our producer surplus is gonna be the area of the triangle and it goes from 20 to 140, from zero to 60. And it's all the area in there. Equals one half times, let's see, the base of it, 60 minus zero, times the height of it, 140 minus 20, equals one half times 60, times 120, equals 3,600. Cool. And then total surplus in this market is just all the surplus that exists. In this case, it's just consumer surplus plus producer surplus. Uh, so it's 1800 plus 3600 equals 5400. It's the area of both of these triangles. So I hope that is helpful to you. It's a nice little introduction to our supply and demand analysis. Uh, more videos to come on different ways we can mess with this model. And if this isn't helpful, too bad. Good luck, guys.